Now, as you just heard, Judge Juan Merchant is expected to decide whether to delay Trump's sentencing in his New York criminal trial. Matthew Whitaker, former acting attorney general, joins me now. Trump's going to speak at noon today. What, what will he be allowed to say about the judge's ruling? Yeah, well, good morning, Stuart. It's, it's hard to know exactly how close to the line uh, the president wants to get, but there's a lot of reasons for him uh, to talk about the election interference that's happening uh, with so many of these cases. And, you know, you talk about um, this sentencing that appears uh, Judge Mershon is, is hell-bent on having that happen in the middle of September, right in, you know, less than 60 days before um, the election. And quite frankly, you know, Stu, you know, also, um, Possibly taking the president off the campaign trail if he sentences him, sentences him to prison. There, you know, are appeals that will happen and the like. But I think the biggest issue for me in this entire case right now is the fact that there was potentially immune testimony that was received in that case, and I think he's going to have to start over uh, because the Supreme Court said pretty clear that that is not admissible uh, in a court against a former president. That would be a very big deal, and it would make. Uh the New York court system looked pretty bad, I think. I know we've talked about this before. It doesn't seem to me that the New York legal business, if I can call it that, is in good repute and good standing. What do you say? Yeah, I think this is a situation where President Trump uh, was Democrats, uh, prosecutor and Democrat judge, took advantage of, of their power. And I think they, you know, took a case that, quite frankly, was on specious legal grounds. And we've, we have talked about that before, these novel legal theories. Um, and, you know, was able to you have a jury convict President Trump, um, and now they're planning on sentencing him. And I think this whole thing is just an absolute travesty of justice. Got it. Let's change tack. Hunter Biden changed his plea to guilty on all nine federal tax charges. He faces years in prison um, and a big fine, too. Why did Hunter suddenly change his plea, and why now? Well, I think they were trying to get out of this case because the testimony that was about to happen, you know, they're just on the uh, going to pick a jury. The testimony was going to be so um, damaging to the Biden family and outline their entire business practices. And I, and I think that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden decided that this was not good for the family and that they would just plead guilty and, and eat all of the charges uh, ultimately. You know, and I, and I think there's no doubt. It, from this posture and the way this was done, just pleading straight up, not even trying to negotiate a plea deal, that they, Hunter Biden knows he's going to get some sort of clemency from his dad uh, at the end of the day. He, he thinks he's going to get some kind of clemency, like a pardon? Yeah, a pardon, a commutation, some way that he doesn't serve federal prison. I, I guess you can mark my word in this, Stu, yeah. that Hunter Biden will not see the inside of a jail cell. What's the politics of that? Well, as long as it happens after the election, I think it's just, you know, there will be complaints by especially Republicans and conservatives. But really, at the end of the day, it just will be a footnote in history. Can we conclude that the Biden-Harris tactic of lawfare against Trump has largely failed? Well, we won't know until actually November 5th, because, again, yeah. all of these all of these issues are tracking. Uh, they're trying to take Hunter Biden off uh, of, of being talked about for the next 60 days. And they've introduced a concept of Russian uh, election interference <laughs> and, uh, you know, these charges against Trump. So it's all still swirling around. But, you know, they're being manipulated by the Democrats uh, to to affect this election. We'll see if it's effective. What a situation. Matt Whitaker, always a pleasure. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. We